Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to the Nameless Art Journal series. This is the last process video in this series before I finish it up with a flip through. And in today's process, I just wanted to show some really simple techniques you can use in your art journal. So this first one is done with embossing folders. So if you have access to embossing folders, this is one creative way to use them. I've just embossed some thick card and I'm going to use it like a stamp. So I'm just going to paint all over the raised side of the embossed card and then I'm going to use that like a stamp over my page and you can see that it gives a sort of abstract stamp of that embossing folder which I used a floral embossing folder. So you want to use a pretty thick piece of card to do this so that it has a really like prominent embossed um, effect and then that will stamp pretty well. So that's what I've used to break in my page and to start the background of this page. The next technique I'm going to show you is using some texture paste to make a wood grain effect. So to do this you just want to apply some texture paste to your page and then you want to take a brush. I'm taking a glue brush. You just want to take a brush that's quite um, crispy I guess so my glue brush has been used for glue and so it's it's a little bit it's not as soft as a normal paintbrush would be and that stiffness that the bristles have allows me to scratch in a texture into the texture paste that looks just like wood grain so I'm brushing that through the texture paste and that gives the wood grain effect that you can see there on my page I just sort of slide it down the page and wave it ever so slightly like you would see in wood and then once that's completely dry you can take some paint and you can paint over the top and you're still going to be able to see the texture that you've already created that wood grain texture but obviously it's going to look a bit more like wood once we've painted over it with brown you can of course paint whatever color you want but to make this really look like wood grain I used a deep brown paint Now I'm just playing around with photos. I haven't yet decided which photo I'm going to use. So I had a couple of options there and I ended up choosing this one here that was a scenery photo. So there's like some fields and a house over in the background. And I pulled out a flashcard that says far and stapled those together. Next, I took a pen and I just marked out where the word far is behind the photo and then I used blade to cut out a little rectangle so that the word far would peek through the photo. I felt like that photo was a somewhere quite isolated um, and so that's why I included that flashcard that said far. Now I'm just playing with some other scrappy pieces that I have on my desk. So I have a scrap of an envelope, like a junk mail envelope, and I also have some of these Tim Holtz paper dolls. I didn't end up using any of these, but I was just playing around with them to see if I liked the way any of them looked on this page. So before I stuck the photo down, I just wanted to make sure that everything was dry really well. And that brings me to the next simple technique and that is using a doily to create like a stencil. So I used the doily and I sprayed some of that spray we created earlier when we made our pages, the alcohol and acrylic paint spray. And I sprayed it through the doily and it left a really soft pattern of the doily on the page. I also have a scrap of baking paper that I also used while I was making the pages for my journal and I just used a little bit of that to layer up the elements on the page as well. Now to enhance that wood grain, this is the same as the technique we used on our journal covers. I'm applying this gold wax over the top of the wood grain to really bring out the raised bits of the texture. So you can see there that that just helps highlight all of the texture in the texture paste and just makes it a little bit more visible so you can tell sort of what that texture is supposed to be. 
there you can see all the little layers in the page coming together now the last little thing I was going to show you was just some really simple ways to create more texture again So I've got a couple of different things here. I've got tissue paper that I'm going to use to create a little sort of wrinkly textured background. And I've also got here some sandpaper. I really like the way sandpaper looks when you paint over it. Um, it just has a really cool texture to it. As well as sandpaper and tissue paper, I've also got some washi tape and I'm going to apply the tape to the page a little bit so that it's a little bit wrinkly. And I'm going to paint over all of these pieces and then I'll show you how each of them has a different texture to them in the end. So you can see the difference in each piece. So there you can see the different textures there. You can see the sandpaper versus the tape versus the tissue paper. The tissue paper is quite soft. The sandpaper is quite dotty and gritty and then the tape is just got that wrinkled layered look to it. So I tried to pack as many little techniques as I could into this video, just some really simple art journaling ideas you can try out. Like I said, this is the last process video in this series and then in the next video I'll be doing a flip through of my completed journal. That may not be next week you guys because it may take me a couple of extra weeks to get all the pages done. But eventually I will have a flip through of my journal and I hope you guys keep practicing and using yours and make sure you use that hashtag nameless art journal because I check the hashtag almost every single day. I absolutely love seeing what you guys are doing with this project.